right, we're back. Spend a few minutes using the foam molar for some upper body um, mobilizations. Um, so again, I'm going to show you um, two or three different areas in the upper body that we can um, use the foam molar on, and then some mobility exercises we can pair it with for the most effect. So uh, typically, a lot of us tend to have more of a rounded shoulder position here. If you spend a lot of time in front of a computer, sitting, um, uh, very, very common. Even those of us that are active um, and like to lift, we tend to be a little bit more push dominant. We tend to see this a lot. So a lot of times what happens is these muscles here get short and tight, pulling our shoulders forward, and that can have a lot of uh, implications for uh, discomfort, pain in our shoulders. So a really simple uh, way to kind of ease some of that is to use a home roller. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on rolling out chest muscles here. Um, I would preface this by saying avoid any obviously sensitive areas in here that you want to put the foam roller on. I'll leave it up to your imagination for what I'm talking about. So I would start about 45 degree angle, or actually more like perpendicular to you. Arm out at about 45 degrees, and then just have the edge of the roller somewhere in that upper chest area. All right, and then from here we can just do little forward and back, exhaling, relaxing into it. Again, if you're doing this prior to an upper body dominant uh, workout day, I would say 20 or 30 seconds per side is enough. Another way you can do it too, and actually a way that I prefer, is you have it right in front of you, put the bottom edge of the roller, take a spot on your chest that might be a little bit tight, and again we're going to have our toes underneath us, body nice and straight, I can lay my head right on top of my hand, put my arm like so, relax, inhale, exhale, and then I can also add some movement, so push my hand overhead as I'm relaxing into the roller, and again 20 or 30 seconds, 10, 15, 20 passes overhead, and see how that works. Again, if you're doing this more for recovery after a workout, Certainly feel free to take a little bit longer, uh, 20 or 30 seconds uh, is fine, it is part of your warm up routine. Now another area that we can do too that gets really, uh, especially if you do a lot of lifting, you know, these muscles here, those lat muscles, they can get really short, tight, and fibrotic, so another way we can kind of help tone those down would be to kind of roll them out. Um, so with this one I would say just below your armpits. And I would say just start here, just trying to relax into it. You don't even have to add any movement. Just inhale, exhale, maybe move it down a little bit, searching for those spots that might be a little uncomfortable, a little bit tight, and then just kind of ease into it. Another thing that you can do too is just kind of rock your body back and forward as you breathe. about mid to lower ribs. And again, we can do this on the other side as well. And then the final spot that I would focus on for our upper body uh, mobilization um, and for some shoulder health would be the mid part of our spine. So we can give ourselves a big hug to kind of open up that mid to upper back. And then again, keep those tummy muscles nice and tight. Brace, we'll lift those hips up, and then just short little up and back, staying from maybe just above the shoulder blades to lower part of the rib cage. Again, same idea, 20, 30 seconds per area uh, or longer, again, for recovery. Uh, just give us a, a quick second, and we're gonna show you some uh, mobility exercises that you can do right after these to help make some of these changes stick. 